Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the studio. Okay, so today we will take a look at a mix of reptiles and sea animals. Okay, plenty of crabs, octopuses, and of course we have like crocodiles and other lizards right here. So let's get started. Alright guys, so let's sort out the figures right here. Okay, so firstly we have a chameleon. I think this is a veiled chameleon, an adult one. We do have a um, baby one right here. If I'm not wrong, this is actually the one. Veiled chameleon is a such much more smaller um, figure. Okay, I'm gonna put all the lizards and crocodiles into our left box as per usual. And um, of course, the sea animals, we are going to place them into this um, right box. So right here, we have a crab. I don't think I'll be able to remember every single name of um, the new crabs that we have um, uh, acquired recently. This is a hermit crab, a beautiful one. You guys should know that hermit crabs, they can live in different shells. Which is why you are able to find different hermit crabs with different sorts of shells. Here is another one that we have just added to our collection uh, recently. This one, oh my goodness, this is the one that is super adorable. Do you guys remember the name of this crab? Let me know down below. This one is a new one which is known as a coconut crab. Very adorable. They are able to climb up coconut trees, which is why they're known as coconut crabs. Lobster right here with two huge claws. This is a prehistoric um, animal which is known as a balamite. Okay, and right here we have a beautiful white is this a crocodile or an alligator? I think it should be an alligator because the snout is actually pretty narrow. Right here, we have a small little, you know, species of crocodile. It is known as a caiman, right here. Okay, Komodo dragons, they can be found in Indonesia. We have plenty of Komodo dragons figures in our collection. This one should be our... Um, it looks like an alligator, but at the same time, it looks like... A, I think it should be an alligator. The snout is pretty wide. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is, a, this is definitely a crocodile. You can see the snout is very triangular, very narrow. Okay, next up, we have a... Um, I'll come back to this. I remember this name, but I suddenly forgotten about it. Okay, <laughs> so I shall come back to it. An octopus right here. Mori eel, a green Mori eel. I've seen them before. They were like super big. It was like this thick when it comes to its circumference. We have a prehistoric, okay, I wouldn't say prehistoric because they are actually living fossils. You can still find them nowadays. It is a horseshoe crab, okay? Next up, we have some penguins. The penguins may lo no longer be placed into this box. We shall see, okay? A chin strap penguin right here. We have a chambered nautilus, beautiful figure. Okay, we have a big Komodo dragon right here. This is actually one of my most favorite figures. It's actually quite a soft and um, puffy. Um, figure Komodo dragon. Here we have an American alligator. Yes, do you guys know that alligators they can actually run pretty fast? Okay, next up, this is actually one um, um, of the crab figures that we have just added to our collection. This is a spider crab. Okay, I think we do have another spider crab which is a slightly um, no, this is, should be a king crab if I'm not wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a king crab. Okay, wait a minute. We'll, co we'll come back to this. This is a du Dungeness crab right here. Another octopus. This one, it should be the other crocodile, you know, with the same, with a different paint scheme. But of course, the same sculpt. Just gonna put um, the crocodiles right over here. I'll have to adjust them properly because this lizards, they are actually pretty big in size. So you have to like place them properly so that all the space is um, nicely optimized. What, what do we have right here? Okay, we have a um, chested, crested gecko right here. Beautiful one. This is quite a new figure, which is why I'm not very familiar with the name. This is a veiled chameleon, if I'm not wrong. Oh no, um, fruit neck chameleon. Oh my goodness, why am I so um, forgetful today? This is a weedy sea dragon, really beautiful ones. There are actually extremely colorful ones out there. This is a beautiful, beautiful reef squid. Um, this is a king crab. So just now, I think this one is also a king crab. It's just that you know they are painted in different colors. King crabs right here. Uh, what do we have right here? A bearded dragon, really beautiful one. You can see it has a very nice like spikes around its head, which is awesome. Um, 
This is an Indian Garrier. Yes, I have finally remembered the name. Indian Garrier is kind of a crocodile with very, very long and um, famous narrow snout. Yep, they are well known for its narrow snout. And right here, we have a, an iguana. Beautiful figure. Um, it's a really huge figure as you guys can see and this one is an alligator So let's do a comparison with the crocodile so you can see this is the crocodile on the left And this is the alligator you can see the snot. This one is extremely wide. It is more rectangular Okay, it's slightly it's slightly tapered as well, but I'm not as tapered as the crocodile so I hope that you guys can actually um, tell the difference between um a crocodile and an alligator just by its snout okay right here we have what is supposed to be a giant squid i know that this figure is actually kind of small as well this is bernie the alligator which is like the uh, mascot of safari ltd quite a small figure very cool okay this one is a really beautiful one it's an alligator baby so alligator babies they actually have like struts on the body and if we take a look at this the temperature of an alligator's nest determines whether the babies are male or female so it depends on you know how hot or how cool um you know uh the nest is this is actually a spider crab a mini spider crab very very beautiful and adorable this is the three eye crab right here okay another really beautiful one as well if i'm oh my goodness i have totally forgotten about the name of this new figures that we have added to our collection re recently so uh yeah this one as well this is a hairy crab really beautiful colored hairy crab there are there are different types of colors when it comes to a hairy crab some penguins right here this it's a an african penguin and this is basically the humboldt penguin all right we have a beautiful seahorse okay seahorse they're not good swimmers so they usually curl the tail you know um around corals around other sea plants this it's a um what do you call this Previtoceras. no uh, this is an ammonite i uh, let me just check i think so Ammonite, that's right. I'm not thinking very well today, as you guys can see. I, I keep forgetting the names of um, some of these an sea animals. Lobster, okay. This is the Sally Lightfoot Crab, as you guys can see. The name is written right here Sally Lightfoot Crab. Very, very colorful crab. One of the most colorful crabs out there. You can find like orange, red, purple, purple on the eyes. And if you flip it over, the body is actually light blue and here is actually orange extremely colorful crabs out there blue crab this is known as blue crab basically um this is a haunt chameleon okay a lobster uh, it, it looks like a lizard as well to me sometimes here's another king crab we have two exactly the same figures this one uh, i think it is a red red um red flower crab if i'm not wrong yes i remember this is red flower crab this one we have no idea what species this is um it's pre basically like a figure we got from a budget pack polar bear cup extremely adorable another lobster right here seahorse as you guys can see the tail is always tying to a coral or tying to a sea plant because they're not good swimmers so they have to tie themselves to uh, you know um certain um objects this one should be a small little coconut crab i think jellyfish right here and here's another beautiful hermit crab it is quite a small version as you guys can see is staying or living in a smaller shell as compared to the rest that i've shown you guys and here's another one which is a, a bigger one a bigger hermit crab so hermit crabs they have very soft body which is why they definitely need protection from shells but they don't have a shell of their own so they need to find shells that are left over by other sea animals moray eels right here this um okay right over here we have a nile crocodile they can be found in africa nile crocodiles are you know reptiles with a really really huge bite force here's another one um another reptile mean which is the fruit neck lizard the name is written right below beautiful figure from collecte they basically open a fruit to sort of like intimidate the the predators yeah so this it's a thorny dragon and this little thing right here it 
basically acts as a false head. So they can actually hide their real head to expose the false head, basically to protect themselves. A mini bearded dragon right here, really beautiful figure. This one, if I'm not wrong, is a haunt lizard. It looks very much like um, the bearded dragon as well. And here's another one. Yeah, we have quite a few bearded dragons. Octopus right here, beautiful figure. If I'm not wrong, this is from Flecte. Really, really beautiful figure, very well detailed. Emperor Penguin, or it could be a King Penguin. It doesn't have the name. Okay, let me see. It's basically just named as a penguin. Very generic. Shrimp. Yep, a shrimp, guys. Yep, uh, we do have like one or two shrimps in our collection. Another polar bear club, extremely adorable. What is this? This is probably another uh, African penguin. No, it could be a, an emperor penguin. Yeah, I think so. What is this doing here? No idea. And this is a crocodile from Science and Nature. Pretty cool figure. And right here, we have a white alligator. This is 100% an, alli an alligator. Can take a look at this knot. It is totally rectangular, not narrow at all. White alligator. White alligator, they are not... Um, they are basically leucistic, okay? Leucistic animals. And here we have another adult polar bear. Quite a big one. We have two figures right here. One is from Safari LTD, and this one, if I'm not wrong, is from Papo. I can't find a name. Yeah, it's from Shrike. I beg your pardon. So, polar bears are well known for their fur. The fur, when you pull it strand by strand, is actually transparent or rather translucent. Just that when you place all of them together, it looks like you know it's white in color. And here is a huge polar bear cup, very adorable figure from P uh, PNSO. Okay, what do we have right here? Another squid. Okay, um, what else we have? Octopus. This is uh, from Safari LTD. It's quite a nice one. So you can see there are lots of suction cups. And octopus, they are the masters of disguise. They are able to change the body sh shape, the texture of their skin. They can also change the colors to, you know, to become like a rock. And you totally can tell the difference. Right here, we have an emperor penguin, which is the largest species of penguins around. So you can find like a little chick right here. So this is probably, I'm not too sure whether it's a mommy. I think it's a daddy. The daddy one has um, this orange um, tone on the side. The daddy is basically like protecting its baby. And here we have a puffin. This is our one and only puffin figure. And puffins, they can be found in the same habitat as penguins. Yeah, around the same areas. And um, this is a penguin chick. I suppose this is an emperor penguin chick. And here we have a little African penguin, if I'm not wrong. Yep, I think so. African penguin. Here we have a nudie branch, which is um, you know, kind of like a sea slug. They come in all sorts of colors. This is actually a very dull version. If you Google nudie branch, N U D I B R A N C H. Right here, you can actually Google this on YouTube later on after this video. You can find that you know there are plenty of different colored uh, nudie branch out there. So this one is a famous crab with one claw, but I can't remember the name. So please forgive me because we have just you know added like you know like ten different crabs into our collection. So I kind of like can't remember like which is which. Colored lizard. This one is the colored lizard. It's one of the most colorful lizards out there. You can find like stripes. You can find like. Black spots and white spots, orange, teal color, very cool looking lizard. This is definitely a very, very pretty looking lizard. Here we have a jellyfish. So jellyfish comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes and a lot of them are actually poisonous. Here's another shrimp right here. Very, very cute looking shrimp. So we have two shrimp figures right now, guys. This one was the other one that we have just added. But this one looks more like a, you know, king prawn or what. Yeah. This is a Pravictoceras, if I'm not wrong. Yep, it's a prehistoric um, sea animal, as you guys can see. It comes with a shell, and it also comes with um, you know tentacles that resembles uh, a modern-day octopus or squid. Still have plenty to go, guys. Octopus. Still have plenty of penguins. This is a South African penguin sliding on its belly. Very adorable. Here's a uh, polar bear carp. Sea lion. What else do we have on um, on the table? Let's see. We have Komodo dragon right here, beautiful figure. And here's another lizard. This is probably a thorny dragon, probably. Here we have, um, guys, what is this? Crocodile or alligator? Should be crocodile because it's pretty narrow. It's pretty like triangular. 
This is a rock hopper penguin. I, I named this like a stylish penguin because of the feathers around the head. It looks so cool. It looks like, you know, it has put on some color, some ha hair dye. It looks extremely cool as compared to the rest. Here's another one, guys. Another rock hopper penguin. You are, this one is even cooler. It's sort of like a square top on top. And you know, um, there's some blonde streaks on, on the sides. Very cool. Okay, uh, let's see. We have a tiny little jellyfish right here as well. Tiny little um, emperor penguin. If I'm not wrong, this is from Safari LTD. Another small hermit crab. So you guys can see all the shells of a hermit crabs are all different because they basically pick their own shell and um, they, they try to stay inside. Okay, so we have one more right here. This is a squid. Um, these are basically a dolphin, a hammerhead shark, a scallop hammerhead shark to be honest, and a great white mini and an emperor penguin. So yep, you guys have just seen two boxes of um, my figures. One is basically um, uh, the reptiles and the other one is our crustaceans and some of the, you know, polar bears, penguins and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? On Wednesday, I'll come up with uh, more cool stuff. Just a quick update, guys. Let me check this out. Check this out, guys. So right here, we have some really cool new new products okay these are actually like bath balls so if you drop them in, drop them into the water it will review our uh, different insects so there are four beetles for us to collect i can't wait to see what we've got okay i've basically bought um six of them yeah so hopefully we are able to um get all four different beetles but i have no idea like you know what are the beetle names guys do you guys know okay yeah probably we can tell because of, um, you know, the beetles uh, are actually written right here, giraffe stack beetle, you have the giant stack beetle, you have the rhinoceros beetle, and the caucasus beetle. So we shall open them in our next video and let's find out what insects we'll be getting, okay, what beetles we'll be getting. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. And this is, you know, if this is our first time here, this is basically known as the basement dino dungeon you guys should know that i have a main channel called dan surprise which i you know review dinosaur figures so if you guys have not seen that channel before go on there subscribe you know if you guys like jurassic world as you guys can see plenty of dinosaur figures you will love dan surprise yeah okay so i'll see you guys in the next one thanks and goodbye